everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring guys. Boom! Woo! And today guys, it's Manchester United 2, FC Granada nil. Granada, they got nada again. Manchester United knocking out FC Granada with no goals, no goals in two legs. In the fact that in those two legs, we kind of we really didn't do anything in terms of being at our best, but winning, going through to get through to another semis. Whew, it's been, you know, what I've got to say, interesting. You know, it was a tie that, you know, you just thought, even in today's game, you thought, wow. You know, we really could have, like, shown how dominant we was in terms of just attacking them and creating more opportunities and scoring more goals. But we didn't do much of that. But we did win the game, guys. And I have to say, I'm pleased with that. I'm feeling good. I'm happy. You Mancunians are happy. I know you are. I worry Spice is happy, guys. And we are through to another semis again, guys. I keep on saying the semis because it's very important that you hear me say semi again. Because what happens when we get to the semis? We get not the fuck out. We get not the fuck out, guys. And yet again, I don't want to see that happen against FC Roma. And we will be playing FC Roma, guys. But, but this game, again, not a game where we can just say that we've we, we, we done well. And let's go straight into the match, guys. Ah, <sighs> Cavani. Ah, Matador. Ah, aka Tarzan. You know it looks like Tarzan. Let's not lie, guys, because he absolute like Tarzan. Mowgli. Spitting image of Mowgli as well. Like, I can picture him right now. You picture Tarzan right now. He looks like Cavani, innit? And my lines. Yeah, I wasn't wrong. But yes, Cavani scoring a volley. From a brilliant, brilliant Pogba assist, a brilliant back header, like a flick on, just to assist Cavani so Cavani can volley that goal in. And I've got to say, Paul Abibble Pogba was the captain today. He was the man that was leading the team out. And I was pleased to see him with the captain armband. I would like to know, I'd like to. I would like to know what you guys think about that because I thought it was a good thing. Because if it means for him to sign a new contract, you know, to get some kind of responsibilities in the team and leadership. Let it be because I want La Bile to stay. You want La Bile to stay. I know some of you guys who act like you hate him or those who you hate him, deep down in your heart, you all want La Bile to stay. So let's let's not kid ourselves. Let's not kid ourselves. But yeah, again, La Bile got himself in a bit of a hissy fit or a little bit of a tangle where he got bought with a yellow card and it potentially could have got sent off with a second book yellow card a second bookable offense but he got away with it he wish he survived in the 45 minutes because we all thought that situation oh my god probably looks like he might get sent off ollie don't do what he did against fred and we and we did not see that today ollie learned from his lessons you know in that second of Paul Pogba coming off for Donny Van der Beek to come on, which I thought was a good idea. And I thought, yeah, Oli's not showing negligence anymore. Well, I'm not going to say anymore because he is quite naive and he shows a lot of negligence in certain aspects, especially with today's substitutions. You know, he could have done it a bit early, but, you know, he didn't. But back to the games, guys. As you know, with Manchester United in that second off against Granada, 1-0 up, 3-0 up on aggregates, you know. Manchester United just ugh, done what they usually do. Another stinker. And I said to my guys on the, the United podcast, if you catch that on Bits and Bobs, you know, every Wednesday, guys. I said to my man, it's going to be a stinker. You're going to be bored. In fact, we probably might just win 1-0. Um, a 90th minute goal, just as you are just about to just fall asleep. They score a goal, but I was wrong. Manchester United scored an early goal in the first half. In that second half, Manchester United scoring another goal. Although the second half was quite shit and boring, Tellez with an assist, 
you know, crossing it in. Of course, you got Villarreal scoring an own goal, which I was thinking, what the hell was you thinking? What the hell are you doing being there in that position? Because he's, he's not even a defender at the end of the day. And we don't know what he was doing there. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, he conceded the goal and made us 2 0 up. Good, good cross by Alex Tellers. And with that, Manchester United winning 2 0, guys. Like I've got to say, I knew what I was going to see. I, I expected a stink. I expected a, a game where it's, man, I was just going to ride the whole 90 minutes and just try and get it through, you know, grind it. But it's school some goals. But when you do get that goal, it will be when you just think, really? Just when I'm about to fall asleep and just about the match is about to end, you want to score? Them type of feelings there. But now, guys, like I said before, I just thought that overall, we was all right. Nothing special. We are through. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. We're just through. We're in the semi-finals again. And that's all. We just have to move on. Man of the match today, guys. I'm going to have to give it to... Because I can't think of anyone right now. David De Gea for the clean sheet. Two clean sheets in two games. I want you back at the number one spot. But Henderson is doing his thing, fam. So I'm sorry, fam. It is what it is, man. I'm with you, David De Gea. You know? I even say your name with an accent, bruv. I'm the only black brother that says your name with an accent. David De Gea, you know? Unless you're in Spain. But these people around here, it's only me. I'm showing you that kind of level of respect. So, boy, I'm sorry, fam. Donkey of the match day, gotta be no one today because I can't really think of anyone. Manchester United Holics. <sighs> the question is will we need Viagra for the semis? To get past our semis situation problems, you know, our erectile dysfunction problems. Will we need Viagra? And that's the question I'd like to ask. You guys let me know in the comment description. You also guys let me know who your man in the match was. And you also let me know who your donkey in the match was. Let me know what you thought of the match. Because this has been your match reaction by I were in Spice. You get me, guys. And of course, remember to follow the social. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV One, baby. And also remember to follow the official TikTok account, which is Ready Night TV. And also my own personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, across all the socials. Same for Twitter, same for the Snapchat. And of course, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share, because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring, and as always, my ladies, my ladies, remember, if you have any boys that's chasing you, remember to share, remember to share to your ex-boyfriend, and also your current boyfriends, and also the guys trying to chase you in your local chippy, the guy that's trying to move to you at the train station all the time or at the bus stop, and also to your pastor who's been slightly trying to get at you and dropping little hints and that, like, ah, oh my God, you are growing. And your uncles that's been trying to tell you, ah, you have grown, yes? Give them my link. And then when they say, what is this? Tell them you found a man that does it way better than you. As, remember, as always, guys, Remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready night. Peace out.